Слава Украине! Слава! 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 Hello comrades and welcome to Men of War Assault Squad 2 tutorial. This is for uh, scripting animations, um, more specifically while they can walk. Uh, I'm only doing the surrender animation because that's the only one I'm really interested in, but uh, this can essentially work for other walk animations, I'm fairly certain, or maybe animations in general. Uh, I haven't played around with it too much, I only just learned this uh, yesterday. Um, so yeah. Uh, also, just want to quickly show you, uh, we got a beautiful Hossamel Airport map uh, made by Portiu, and uh, it is a multiplayer map, it is 5v5, and uh, if you want to play it and you want to do a multiplayer match on it, come join the uh, Discord and uh, download the mod, of course, obviously. Uh, but yeah, moving along, just needed to quickly show you that because of how beautiful the map is. Uh, first we're going to do is we're going to give the surrendering soldiers a tag. And uh, there's a lot more fancier way you can set this stuff up, but uh, this is the basic simple way if you're doing just more of like a, uh, a scenic kind of moment. Um, so we're going to give it a tag. Oh, we already did, so uh, you know, we'll just type it again. So we're going to give them a tag, so give up, so that way we know what they're doing. Uh, if you want multiple soldiers doing like different animations or whatever, um, you can. It's just you have to give them each a specific tag, and then you have to add a lot more onto it. But again, uh, this is not going to go into detail, that level of detail, unless you guys want that. So uh, we're going to add our waypoint, and if you have multiple waypoints, it's good to give them a specific label, like, uh, you know, for what they're going to be doing. So for this waypoint, these guys are going to be the ones that are walking around giving up. So gonna go here and then when you're gonna you're gonna click add and you're gonna make sure auto link is on so that way you have this little yellow arrow and that means then they'll know to go from uh, waypoint 0 to waypoint 1 and uh, yeah because if you don't then it's unless I guess you specifically script them with a certain direction or whatever for the waypoints they're not gonna know and they won't go to it so and we're just gonna add another one and another one Actually, you know what? Do that. Now, the other thing we're going to do is radius. Now, uh, the radius is... Eh, pardon me. The radius is for how close they need to get to uh, start the animation or... Uh, or yeah, do the animation or um, to acknowledge that they're at the waypoint. So, the bigger the radius, you know, the less... Uh, they don't have to get so close, you know, the less time it needs for them to get to it which obviously can be a problem if it overlaps like this. So we're going to give it a very small radius of 25. Uh, you can also, you know, vary from uh, different waypoints and so forth. But, uh, you know, for this one, we're just going to make it very simple. All right, and then we're going to go to here. We're going to go to Commands. You're going to right-click and Add. So you're going to go to Entity, and you're going to Animate. Now, uh, again, if you're doing sp if, sp if specific units are doing specific animations, you're going to do standard and you're going to select a specific tag, and then you're going to type in what that unit's doing, and then you're going to repeat and change up uh, whichever tag and whichever animation goes to whichever unit. Um, again, that's you know we're not doing that because it's just I don't really feel like putting that all together. So. Uh, again, if you do waypoint, it just means whenever that unit touches that waypoint, that's what'll happen, uh, more or less. So we're going to hit OK. Now, for animation, we're going to do walk underscore give up underscore one. And you're going to loop and resume. So uh, loop and resume means that they're going to continue to play the animation while they're walking. So... Uh, uh, if you if you don't do if you do if you don't do loop, then they're gonna do the animation, but then they're gonna keep walking to the next waypoint. If you do just loop, then they'll continue to do the animation. I don't know exactly what resume does because they still move even if you don't check resume. So if any of you know, let me know. But yeah, 
So we're going to hit OK. And we're going to leave that one alone. Now here, uh, we're going to, as you noticed, they switched to putting their hands behind their head. So we're going to do another command. We're going to go to Animate. And then we're going to do essentially the same thing. And we're going to do Walk underscore Give Up underscore but this time two and then of course we're gonna loop and we're gonna resume now uh, let's say you don't know the animation so you know you got your command do animation and you want them to do something different so for example when we saw them get to the last checkpoint they crouched while they had their hands on their head so to do that if you don't know the animation you don't know how to find the animations you go to call function animation play and here you go you have all the animations that they're able to do so we want them to you know kind of squat and make it look like you know like you know like they're kind of going on their knees and you know holding their position so uh you go pose squat empty so you can left click on it and you'll see the little typing indicator and then you just drag it'll light it up you control c you close go back to your waypoint go to here animation college and then you just control V to copy paste if you want to memorize them and if you want to write them down that's cool too but this is just so you don't have to do that and here we're going to check off loop and I think it's cycle delay uh, the delay um, is however long it holds off from repeating the animation um, if you do delay it won't do anything because you set it on a loop and uh, if you set it to random, it means it's just going to randomly play the animation. And if you add the cycle delay or the delay to that, then maybe it changes the amount of time before they play the animation again. But because we don't want them to change that, at least not in this scenario, we're just going to do that. So that way we know they're not going to immediately stand up and just kind of stand there with no animation. Uh, yeah, so we're going to hit... Oh, and again... Uh, if you want specific units to do specific things, you change it to standard. But again, they're all going to reach this waypoint, and they're all going to do that. So now that we've set up our uh, our waypoints, the commands on the waypoints, we're going to go to triggers. We're going to add. And again, if you have multiple triggers set up, multiple things going on, you're going to give it specific names. So give up. And again, sorry for the buzzing of the fans. Uh, my computer is really hot right now. <laughs> It's kind of gone on max fan mode to kind of, uh, yeah, counter that. So, yeah, uh, we got give up. I'm going to go waypoint. And then, uh, yeah, so you're going to give it the tag. You're going to say which waypoint they start at. And you're going to click make squad. Now, the reason you check make, squ uh, make squad is because you want them as a group to move to each waypoint. If you don't have it as make squad, then uh, what they're going to do is go as individuals, play the animation, and if they bump each other, if they clump up, then um, they might stop the animation or uh, it might just get really retarded because that's just how the AI works. So yeah, you're going to check make squad. We're going to hit OK. I'm going to save, and that should do it. I'm going to hit start. So they're all going to make to this waypoint. And then I'm going to play the animation. There we go. And now they're walking. And I hope you like the custom Ukrainian skins I did there. They're in the way, Warway mod. They're not um, special or separate or anything. You guys do have access to them if you want them. And here we go. And now they've officially surrendered. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you use it or find it helpful. Um, yeah, and let me know again whatever tutorials or um, things you want to see on the channel. Uh, that's pretty much it. And again, if you want access to any of these skins or vehicles or maps, uh, download the Warway mod. Uh, join us on the Discord. It's a lot of fun, I guarantee it.